Hello, what's up guys? Good morning. Uh, I'm your lecturer for today, Engineer Tan from Nate Zane Learning Center. I hope you are having a good day despite of our lockdown and the existing coronavirus. Uh, let us pray na maging okay siya. So, today's topic is all about uh, age problem. So, here's the thing. If you're going to study age problem, you need to be very, very, very careful in analyzing the problem. Kailangan pag-aralan mong mabuti yung mga term yung mga tenses especially dito mo mapag-aaralan yung past, present and then future. Yung mga words na referring to future, babantayan mo yon. Yung mga words na referring sa past, babantayan mo yon. Yung mga words that are referring to the present, babantayan mo siya. So kapag binasa mo yung problem, you need to read it very 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 carefully, especially kung hindi talaga kayo math wizard. Kung mga you just want to study math pero iba naman talaga yung expert mo. So kailangan mong maging uh, detailed sa pagbabasa lalo na sa age problem. Ang maganda sa age problem is uh, realistic siya. Hindi siya puro numbers, puro letters, puro X, Y, and Z na wala namang value. Sa age problem, makaka-relate ka, related yon sa real life mo. So, okay, let's try to solve two problems. Ang meron tayo dito dalawang problem, no? Yung isang problem dito, medyo easy siya. Yung uh, first problem natin. Yung pangalawang problem ay uh, easy pa rin naman to, yung pangalawang problem Pero medyo hard na ito sa mga uh, sa mga beginners na nag-study. Of course, sa mga ibang mga engineering student or sa mga math wizards, uh, ano na lang to, money na lang sa kanila. But for those who are really want those who really want to sharpen their mathematical skills, uh, himayin natin tong problem na to, no? Isi lang to, guys, kasi pag isinet up mo na na mahirap, uh, yun na, mahirap na talaga siya. Pero pag sinet up mo na madali, kaya mo namang isolve yan. Sa so, unang tingin, medyo mahirap. Pero pag inaaral mo mabuti, makikita mo. So, let's start with problem number one. Ang sabi ng problem number one, sabi niya dito, John's age is twice as Peter's. What is Peter's age if the sum of their ages is 36? So, sa pagsusolve ng uh, age problem, himayin natin. No? So, putahan muna natin yung uh, first sentence. Sabi niya, John's age is twice as Peter's. Kapag hindi mo siya hinati doon, magugulo ka na. So, tingnan natin, sabi niya, John's age. Ibig sabihin yung edad ni John. Ang pinakamadala dito pag sa age problem, pwede mong itagalog, pwede mong ibikol, depende sa language that you will be able to understand. Ang importante dito, ma-understand mo yung problem because understanding the problem means the problem is already 50% solved. Okay? So, ang sabi niya dyan, John's age is twice as Peter's. Doon pa lang sa sinabi niya na yun, realize mo na mas matanda si John. Kasi ang sabi niya doon, John's age is twice as Peter's. Pag tinagalog natin yon, ang edad ni John ay doble ng edad ni Peter. Okay? Make sense, di ba? So, mas bata dito si Peter. Mas matanda si John. John's age is twice as Peter. Ngayon, dito sa problem natin, Malinaanag naman, maliwanag naman na hindi pa natin alam kung ano yung edad ni Peter. Kasi technically, yun nga ang hinahanap. Kasi ang pangalawang sentence sabi niya, What is Peter's age if the sum of their ages is 36? So, kung hindi natin alam yung problem na, yung, yung edad ni Peter, pag hindi mo alam ang age, ilalagay natin yan, i-assume natin lagi yan as X. Alright? Uh, dito pala sa problem na to, wala pa tayong kinukonsider na in 4 years, in 3 years, wala pa. Wala dito, wala tayong nakita mga terms na 5 years from now, 2 years from now, 2 years ago, 4 years ago. Kapag hindi mo nakita yung mga words na yon, hindi ko alam yung term niya sa English eh. Pag hindi mo nakita yung term na 4 years ago, 3 years from now, in 4 years, pag wala yung mga yon, i-assume natin na ito ay present lahat. Lahat yan ay present. Kasi wala naman eh. Ang sinabi niya lang dito sa problem, the sum of their ages is 36. Wala namang sinabing, in 2 years, the sum of their ages, o kaya wala namang sinabing, 3 years ago, the sum of their ages, wala. Ang sinabi niya, the sum of their ages is 36. Present ito. Alright? So, i-interpret natin, balikan natin tong first sentence. Ang sabi niya, John's age is twice as Peter. Ulitin ko yung sinabi ko kanina, mas matanda si John kaysa kay Peter. Kasi yun ang sinabi, John's age is twice as Peter. Kung mas matanda si John kay Peter, 
At ang sabi rito, ang edad ni, J- ni Peter ay X. Kasi hindi pa natin alam. X ang edad ni Peter, X. Tapos ang sabi dyan, twice. As Peter. Ibig sabihin, ang edad ni John ay 2X. Tama? Make sense. Sino bang mas malaki? Yung 2 times X o yung X? Malamang, mas malaki yung 2X. Kasi it times 2 ka. Yun ang interpretation nung sentence na yon. John, John's age is 2X. Peter's age is X. Alright? So, magigayang isulat natin. 2X is Peter. Uh, 2X is John's age. Tapos naman itong X is Peter's age. Alright? Ngayon, itong sinabi. Interpret natin yung susunod. What is the What is Peter's age if the sum of their ages is 36? Ang tinatanong dito, ano yung edad ni Peter? E ang edad ni Peter, sabi natin sa interpretation natin, is X. Right? Ibig sab in, uh, in, interpretation ba? Uh, tama. Ibig sabihin, ang tinatanong dito, what is X? Sino si X? Ilan yung edad ni Peter? At ang sabi dito, the sum of their ages. So, ibig sabihin, yung edad ni John at saka yung edad ni Peter, they will be going to be add up. So, gagawin natin dyan, interpret natin yon ulit. Ang ibig sabihin nun ay x plus 2x. Ano ibig sabihin nun? The sum of their ages. When you say sum, the pl- plus. Ibig sabihin sum. Katotalan, totalan. Uh, pag- sa, ibig sabihin, the sum. Pag pinagsama, the sum of their ages is 36. Ibig sabihin nun, x plus 2x is equal to 36. So, makikita ninyo, nakabuo na tayo ng isang Uh, equation. x plus 2x equals 36. Pag nakabuo ka na ng equation dito sa age problem, petex na lang. Ang problem kasi dito, the problem with age problem is yung interpretation pa lang, yung pag-analyze ng problem, yun ang medyo mahirap. Pero kapag nabuo mo na yung equation, madali na lang yon. So, ulitin natin na, bago natin isolve, John's age is twice as Peter. Ibig sabihin nun, ang edad ni John ay doble ng edad ni Peter. Twice as Peter. So, kung ang edad ni Peter ay x, kasi hindi natin alam, Ang edad ni John, 2x. Kasi nga, mas malaki yung edad ni John. At ang sabi ng second sentence, ng second sentence, which is the question already, what is Peter's age if the sum of their ages is 36? Ibig sabihin nun, pag pinlinas mo daw ang edad ni Peter at edad ni John, in this case, if you are going to add x plus 2x, ang sagot daw ay 36. At makikita natin, we have common term which is an x. So, mag solve natin yan. Ang sabi dyan, x plas 2x is equal to 36. Magiging siyang 3x is equal to 36. Divide both sides by 3 to find the value of x. The value of x is 12. So, malalaman mo na ang edad ni Peter ay 12. So, yun na. Solve na natin yung problem. And just in case you want to find out ano ang edad ni John, of course, ito times mo lang yung x by 2. Kasi nga, ang sabi, John's age is twice as Peter. So, ang lalabas, 2 times x, ang lalabas niyan, 12 times 2 is equal to 24. Ang edad ni John ay 24. Ang edad ni Peter ay 12. I-double check natin yan para mas makita natin kung satisfied by equation. So, si Peter ay 12. Si John ay 24. Nasatisfy ba yung first sentence? The age of John is twice as Peter. So, 24 ba is twice of 12? Yes. Because 12 times 2 is 24. Pag pinag-plus mo ba ang edad ni Peter at ni John ay 36? Yes. 12 plus 24 is equal to 36. So, that is the answer. Peter's age is 12. Sa multiple choice, kailangan maging careful ka kasi baka mamaya, ang ibigay sa multiple choice is 24. Baka mamaya, nahanap po 24 Tuwang-tuwa ka na, sinaydan mo na agad yung problem 24. No, the correct answer is 12. So, kailangan detail ka rin. So, that's it for our easy question.